hello guys thank you for coming back to my channel today i'm going to be talking about the movie october one great great movie and i'm going to tell you why i think it's a great movie now on a flight five four days ago nigeria celebrated her 54th birthday or 54th independence day we have come a long way since 1960 till date nigeria is still nigeria thank god for that we have our issues what country doesn't what country doesn't now a movie came out a movie that is proudly nigerian and that has me beaming from air to air i'm not being paid to do this review but i just thought i should i've seen the movie two times yes twice i had to see it twice because i was like wow so nigeria can produce a movie this good now the movie is not just entertainment as usual it is informative it's educative it has elements of suspense it has elements of romance it has you know it has a lot of things there are a lot of um you know underlying themes in the movie it's a movie for the older generation it's a movie for the younger generation i went to the movie theater twice and i saw older people come and watch it i saw children watch it i saw um youths you you know watch the movie and i saw people like myself <laughs> i'm not a youth okay i'm not an old person so i'm somewhere in the middle but it, it's a movie for everybody because for the older generation the, the movie is set in the 60s and in the 60s you know a lot of things were going on a lot of things that were not being told you know and i i, I remember saying something to some friends at a time that we need movies that will remind us of where we're coming from history so we can appreciate our country because there's a, there are a lot of people that don't appreciate nigeria and that's sad you know because of the issues nigeria has people just don't appreciate nigeria they're quick to want to go to america they're quick to want to go to london and whatever but if people are educated about where we're coming from and you know all the pains people that gave their lives for nigeria to be nigeria i'm sure the country will be a better place and that's what october 1 did in its own way now the movie is about an officer from the northern part an Aosa man brought to a yoruba speaking community called akote to solve a murder case um and he is supposed to solve the murder case i'm trying not to say the movie he's supposed to solve the murder case before independence day in 1960 that's all i'm going to say about the movie it's in, you know and um it is it is a movie that that just took movie making to another level kunle afalayo has exceeded the bar he has raised the bar so i don't know what movie he's going to do next he just did figurine and that that won awards and so now it's october one i don't know you know what next but he has really really raised the bar now the cast included sadiq daba now sadiq daba is from the older generation is i won't want to say old school but he was a former broadcaster and he he did a, 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 a quite a number of productions in those days okay for those for those of you that were born in those days Sadiq Daba was is a veteran actor and he was inspector Danladi Waziri in the movie he was the star of the movie great great acting I mean he he I, he was great okay that's just he was great he wasn't just acting um you also had people I mean one person that oh stole my heart in the movie made me laugh made everybody laugh was mr kayade aderu Poko. that's his real name but in the movie he's known as officer afonja so he was hilarious great acting great acting by the way there were also other people like kayade olaya david bailey kenny banks her name is Kenny Bank Collie, but we like to call her Kenny Banks. We also had Kanayo O Kanayo. You had Femi Adebayo, Bimbo Manuel, Diola Sego as Mrs. Ransom Kuti, and you know, a whole bunch of other great, great actors. This movie had great elements, and I'm going to talk about each of these elements, just a few of the elements, so, not, so that the video is not too long. The props. Now, we know that the movie 
was set in the 60s so for the older generation that went to watch this they had to see themselves they did see themselves in the movie they saw the cars they used to drive they saw the way they used to live life the way people value uh, people valued education and um rural life simple life you know um lanterns record players um i already mentioned cars the houses the roads the uniforms the clothes the, the speech the diction i mean getting these props must not have been a piece of cake it's it, you know because you're th talking about this is 2014 getting props from the 60s you know you have to research you have to find out what people used, what people did and i heard that mr kula falayo got his props from the united states from the united kingdom from all you know he imported it in because some of these things can't be found anymore they're talking about antique items in nigeria you know and then the acting oh my god the actors delivered it wasn't acting as usual it wasn't entertainment as usual like we normally see where people are just overacting and just no these people became the characters they they, they didn't go into they, they didn't go into character they became the characters and I, when i watched the movie i didn't see diola sego i didn't see femi adebayo i didn't see bimbo manuel i didn't see um david bailey i didn't see officer danla um mr sadik i'm sorry mr sadik deba i didn't see those people i saw characters i saw people who were going through issues in the 60s you know I didn't see the actors and that's really what acting is about you know continuity was great you know the quality the lighting the sound the music I mean it was near perfect I don't want to say perfect but it was near this close to perfect Kulia Falayo did a great job I heard it took him 40 days to shoot and it took four months to prepare it's called pre-production to prepare for the for the movie you know and cost him millions that kind of movie can't just cost you one millionaire i mean it's a movie that must have cost millions and he did get sponsorship um the nigerian people the nigerian corporations guinness toyota supported the movie and he delivered he delivered so kudos to to uh Tunde Babalola who wrote it to the producer and director Mr. Kunle Afolayo. Thank you for taking a picture with me. Um, and kudos to the props director, whoever was in charge of props, whoever was in charge of costumes, who was Diola Sego. Kudos to her. Kudos to the actors who delivered. Some we haven't seen in a long time. Some we see all the time. And some you, you've never seen before like um, Bimbo Manuel. Great, great, great job you know kudos to the whole movie it was amazing i am proud to be a nigerian this movie took me back made me appreciate education i'm a girl and i can go to school they didn't have that luxury in the 60s you know kudos 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 the uh, nigerians in the diaspora africans uh human beings homo sapiens in general should watch this movie made in nigeria produced in nigeria made by a nigerian i mean we are going places hollywood watch out for nollywood thank you so much for watching please leave a comment please subscribe if you haven't subscribed thank you for watching bye